you. I, I rise as a representative in the New South Wales State Parliament, but I really want to acknowledge the role that our federal conference here has and the vital input that you will have in my state. For five years, the state government has promised a new hospital uh, for my region and many other regions around our state, and they won't deliver that as a public hospital because they have no um, commitment to that and they're ideologically opposed to public health in this country. And this amendment talks about getting them to take responsibility for the people in our community who suffer with disabilities. Because this gov the Liberal government in New South Wales has used the NDIS, a major achievement of our party, to abrogate their responsibility for people with disabilities in my community. They, our party introduced self-determination and choice, and the Liberals want to reduce that to nothing. Why should a young person who um, is vital, alive, not be allowed to stay with their contemporaries uh, in, when they need to go in for special care for their disability? And I think we also need to ensure that the NDIS is able, as it was designed to, be a real safety net for people in states like mine where the New South Wales government has cut the guts out of workers' compensation. Every day in my office I'm approached by people with a disability. Just this week a woman has a $30,000 bill ahead of her every eight to ten years of her life for the rest of her life because workers' compensation benefits will cease for her in 2018. The NDIS could provide a way forward for this woman so that she can go ahead and have this life-saving uh, device implanted in her. NDIS is about recognising that there, for the grace of God, go I. It's about realising that disability doesn't discriminate, but governments do. And we need to ensure that our health service and system is maintained and improved, not cut away by Liberal governments.